All right, so today we are here in Mzenyati. It's a cool place, basically, they told me about it. It's called Mzenyati Waterfalls. Apparently, it is a cave where Rastafarians and other people actually live. So we're just gonna take a look, but so far I'm here. If we can just have a look. No. Okay. It is very cool, it's like a, you know, a waterfall of some sort, but a small one, yeah. But okay, come along with us and let's, let's basically try to see this place. Huh? Okay. I think we went through on the wrong road. There are two roads actually to come here. The first one is, is that one over here, but now the problem is that in order to go into the caves, you need to. There's another road that side, but you need to go with that road. Now we need to cross these waters because the actual the actual road the actual I mean walk path to the inside the caves which is over there you can actually cross uh, now we are stuck okay now we are stuck okay, let me just try and see. Okay, so the best way is to <laughs> we went through the wrong road. Okay, I need to take off my shoes. Okay. This but you know there is a better road. We just took we went through the wrong one. That's Okay. And it's very sticky, huh? Yeah? Because there's a greenish thing. Okay. This actually, this place is well known for uh, having people, not just people, but Rastafarians. They live, they live here in these caves. Uh, but we're just gonna have a look how they survive. Probably, maybe if we can get to see a couple of them, we'll see uh, how they live and stuff like that. But for now, I've been. You've got all these beautiful waterfalls. If we can just go, let me just try and go here. And see, here is a waterfall. See, we were crossing right there on the, on the top side, right here. I think my finger is there. We crossed. So 
So we are not supposed to park that side. The the, the place you need to come in is just this other side. But we're gonna try to go down and, and, and see it from down there. But this is how it looks like. But the whole aim is having seen the the waterfall, it's trying to see how the rustified and leave here, you know. How they survive. Of course it's in unless uh, of course you can come out here yeah, I think maybe there's a bit of shop outside because there are houses as well that far but I just want to see that okay but yeah for so now we are here hmm? okay I think maybe I'm on the edge because she's telling me I'm on the edge huh? I'm back yeah, but here's the waterfall. The aim is to try and go down there if possible. Yeah. This is the the place. But I think maybe the rest of the front should be the, the area that side. Yeah. We're just gonna have a look. There are people with phobia of heights. I'm too close to the edge. See? I'm too close, but. Hey. Anyway, stay along with us. Uh, we'll explore this jungle, small jungle. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, I think we're nearly there now. Let's just have a look, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. How long have you living in the area? I don't know who has been in 2008, but they've been in the before my end of survival. Oh, okay. This figure is to me, Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
solution of the easy. The place is nice, but I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in Uganda. I mean, you're with your culture and your and in, in Kolelwang. So, Nya Sabat. Oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, in Zamgana, Le Lanja, Banya, Laba Sabata, even to the in 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 Le Nabonga Sabata, Nick Tin to Woodlock, she said. Nectin, yes, because of the citizen Amakos is about a post Makos is over center. Every day, every day, every day, every day, so every day, 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 every Yeah. Yeah. But you're living a peaceful life. Yeah. 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 I bet I come to one power and feel like I'm not. Okay. The planting is cutting in the veiling in the days of Caesar in a song or a future condemning. Yeah, yeah. How many families? Two families. And then the elders, when they have passed. Oh, by seven. Oh,
So the elder is from from Jamaica. Yeah, I think from Jamaica. Yes. Oh. Okay. It's a very nice combination. But how long have you been going to learn really, really, really change? No man gives us your brass, eh? so you can Okay, so yeah, guys, even the people because one of the things that I was uh, uh, concerned, you know, well, I wanted to see is that when you come to this place, you want to, you know, see the place, but actually, the people who live in them, you know, they make it more interesting. So, as you can see here, I think this is a place of worship, so I'm not even gonna go in, you know, because sometimes you need to respect people's religion and culture yeah so but this is a place of worship they are very welcoming Rastafari and they are most of the most welcoming people but one thing that uh, they told me is that I'll show you uh, this uh, uh, okay maybe let me start here this is one of the paintings here you know okay so they they don't go for water because I mean the water will be far so they use this uh, uh, water is dripping from the rocks if you can see I don't know whether they're visible but you see there's a bit of water there which is dripping all the way up there it's dripping all the way up there so this is the water basically that they drink so they've got a small uh, I'll show you this side I've got, I think, a, a bucket which they collect the water with. So, there's the bucket here. So, this bucket is used to collect the water uh, for the daily consumption and whatnot, whatever they use it for. Uh, this is basically natural water. It's, it's coming in 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 the in in the rocks. That's why it, I think it's falling. Maybe it takes time. I think maybe the rain. It, it takes a bit of time before it reaches down but it comes in between these rocks in between these rocks there on top so I guess if it rains it takes a bit of time because even right now it's very sunny I think it was 31 degrees Celsius but you can see it's like the water is very dripping not even a small amount a huge amount of water let me go here oh, see I don't know if it's visible because of the sun maybe I need to be on the other side but the water is really dripping a lot so maybe it takes when it's rain it takes a bit of time before the water reaches down there but this is the, how they collect the water naturally yeah so that's one part of it okay so we move in here
Okay. Let's go on this side. Let's go on this side. Let's go on this side. Why are you Oh, I'm sorry. So in overall, it's a good experience to come here and have a, a look at the place. But mostly, I mean, you just get the feel of the people, the love they have, you know, they, they, they are smiling, they are willing to tell you anything that you need to know without anything. And apparently when we, when we got here, there are some people from Jamaica who just come here, you know, just to build a bond with the locals, uh, Rastafarians, uh, which is basically very, very, very beautiful. So yeah, it's a place that you can come to and visit and explore. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. I mean, the, the love, the warmth, you know, they're very welcoming. And they allow us to take pictures and do the videos. They said we're more than welcome to do that. And they greeted us very lovely. And she stopped working and then came and attended to us and then uh, told us about the place. So it is very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, right now, now we, we're gonna be headed to see the waterfall down there if it's possible. 